Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very exciting one. I'm super like, I'm just antsy about it because today I'm going to be showing you guys me reading books that are from my TBR, but my friends pick them out. So my friends are controlling what I read in this vlog and I'm really excited because they are books that I have just been putting off and putting off. So without the help of my friends, I probably wouldn't be reading them today. So I'm very excited. I have five books, my friends, Anna, Grace, Ruth, Matthias, and then my neighbor actually all picked out a book slash gave me a book. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you them now. I will say they are all like pretty decent sized books. So we have a lot of reading. This will be over the course of probably a couple weeks. We have is American Psycho. This is Matthias's favorite movie, one of his favorite movies. He actually dressed up as Patrick Bateman for Halloween, but yeah, this is his pick. I have been wanting to read this, so I'm excited for this one. This is Build Your House Around My Body, which my friend Ruth picked this out. I actually was gifted this from my friend Ashley when we went to London, and yeah, this is just, it's a debut fiction novel. It looks like a little historical fiction read, and I'm super interested in that, so yeah. Very excited for that. I have Grace's pick, which is Christina Hanna or Kristen Hanna's Firefly Lane. I have had this book for such a long time. We know there's a TV show. I haven't watched it because I've been actually wanting to read this. But I think this is, I don't know if it's technically, no, yeah, 1974. Kristen Hanna is like a historical fiction author as well. So we have this, which I'm very excited about. My friend Anna picked out a short story collection. I'm pretty sure it's a short story collection. I actually got this in January of this year and that is Fiona and Jane. Heard it's short stories, but I don't know. This looks to be like our shortest book. So this will be fun. And the last book I have, my neighbor actually lent it to me and I just decided to throw it into this video because I thought perfect, perfect. She's giving it to me and that is called The Last Night in London. She said it's one of her favorite romance books so i'm super excited about this it also teeters on the lines of like historical fiction as well but yeah we have a good selection the reason i started this video now is i actually just got done like reading for 24 hours a couple days ago and i haven't read at all today or most of yesterday and i'm just feeling like i really want to read i decided i'm gonna do like little self-care night and i'm gonna take a bath and i'm like i should just start reading in my bath I was thinking of starting Fiona and Jane because I have the audiobook for it, but I'm actually considering starting Firefly Lane because this just sounds super good to me right now. I don't know why, but I think we're gonna I think we're gonna start with this. Um, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna film myself in the bath just because that's weird, but I will update you guys like after a little bit um, and tell you what I think about this. Um, and I'll also read the back later because I really need to take a bath. So, see you soon. We need to talk about this book because I just finished it. I know I did not update you guys throughout my reading process, but oh my gosh, five stars. I am so upset with myself that I've been putting this book off, but I just found out there's actually a sequel book and I'm definitely gonna be reading that. But yeah, five stars, would recommend it. It's like historical fiction, contemporary fiction, and it deals, it deals with grief and a lot of content warnings i will say but oh my gosh guys like this book was so good thanks to grace for recommending me to read this because wow i loved it i loved it so I'm much i'm show red what i look red probably because you are this is kind of a weird angle but read this book okay hey guys i'm gonna do an update i'm actually about to leave my house to go back to lawrence for the rest of the semester before I come back for winter break. So before I do that, I just want to talk about the two books that I finished so far. I have completed both Firefly Lane and Fiona and Jane. I know I briefly talked about this one, um, but I was about to go to the hospital <laughs> to visit my dad, so I didn't really talk too much about this. But essentially, um, this follows two girls over three decades and just their relationship with one another 
it's a lot of like navigating female friendships and i loved it i didn't cry because i don't typically cry when it comes to books but this really hit me emotionally towards the end if you have read it you know but i rated this one five stars and i want to thank grace for influencing me to read this there is a second book which i didn't know about called fly away which i think i'm going to go ahead and read i'm also going to watch the netflix show because my mom said she really likes it and i think it'd be really good but this one is very thick all of the books that i have here are pretty thick books besides this one this is the thinnest one but anyways moving on to this book because i actually did finish this last night it's stories from fiona stories from jane stories from both of them and i just thought it was really cool and on the same line as firefly lane these two stories are very different but they're also very similar where it's two females forming their relationships with one another while also forming their own relationships within their own personal lives and so it's like kind of coming of age discovering friendship navigating life and it's both of these are told over the course of several decades which i thought was really cool and yeah i just really enjoyed this i rated this one three and a half stars thought it was really good i would recommend but it's not a book that i'm probably gonna pick up um anytime soon but yeah that's my little book update on that next book i want to talk about is american psycho matthias recommended this and oh my gosh i do really enjoy the movie but this is so graphic it is scaring me it's intense and i'm like the more i read it i'm just like feel like i'm getting sucked into this patrick bateman mentality i will say it's very interesting because paul allen in the movie it's paul owen in this and i just think that's kind of funny but i think i'm yeah i'm definitely over halfway through this book and i don't know it's just so interesting i found an audiobook that i've been listening to while reading along and it actually sounds like um christian bale and it's just insane and i think that makes the reading experience even more exciting but this book is so interesting because you're just going like this guy's life and it's so mundane but then he's also a serial killer and you're like what the heck is going on but anyways i right now without finishing it's definitely at least a 3.5 i think it's ramping up to like a four star because although it's very graphic and hard to read it's just so good and i can't like i don't want to stop reading it but yeah so far all the books that my friends have picked from my tbr have been very interesting but yeah this is just a little book update sorry i'm gonna try to vlog a little bit more just because you know but yeah i actually just put these christmas sheets on my bed they don't look very christmasy i will show them to you i'm waiting for my comforter to get out of the dryer but they're green christmas trees and i'm just so excited i've never had like christmas sheets so anyways that's a little book update the next time i talk to you guys i will be in lawrence but yeah just wanted to update because i'm going to leave these here on my bookshelf Okay, good morning guys. I am back at my dorm, if you can't tell. And we're gonna be talking about American Psycho because I just finished reading this this morning. I had one last chapter and so I finished it. I will say I mix between reading this physically and then also listening to the audiobook. There's a free one on YouTube. And if, it, if you listen to it at two times speed, it literally sounds like Christian Bale talking which i think for me personally made the experience so much more enjoyable because it sounds like the person that plays patrick bateman so yeah i genuinely really enjoyed this book i rated it at four stars i didn't give it a five stars because i'm just like this is not a book that i i would just be able to reread and like recommend easily because this is truly the most terrifying book i have ever read and I'm not kidding when I say this, like this was scary. Like I had to set the book down at times or like I literally felt sick to my stomach at some of the detail in this. I will say this is truly the most graphic book I've ever read. I will say it's kind of like, it's, I'm just gonna talk about some of like the warnings in here. There is torture porn essentially. 
Um, any chapter that was titled girl or girls or had a girl's name in it, I just knew that it was going to be a wild ride and literally everyone and it just like every single one it just kept on getting worse and I understand like it was very funny at times and just like it is a satire novel at points like commenting on the business mogul like person in New York Donald Trump Patrick Bateman is obsessed with Donald Trump in this Donald Trump was brought up so much um but this is set in the 80s so like pre him being a president and things like that just being a businessman oh my gosh like literally insane um I want to watch the movie now but I'm just gonna say like beware if you are planning on picking this up look at the content warnings like I don't know it was like the writing was great and it was just so interesting because you're reading it and you just see like all of his thoughts and it's very interesting because Patrick Bateman like gets angry at the most like the smallest things like there's a there's a scene where he practically like has a blowout over pepsi versus or diet pepsi versus diet coke i think and i'm just like oh my gosh are you kidding me um yeah i think this i don't even know is this considered a horror novel i i think so because wow 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 <laughs> Anyways, that is a little update on that. So that means I have two books left in this little reading vlog. My friends control what I read for a week. I have Build Your House Around My Body, I, I'm pretty sure. And then I have The One Last Night in London or something like that. And yeah, I, I did read one chapter of Build Your House Around My Body the night I think I started this. So... We're gonna probably do that one next and then we'll end the vlog with One Last Night in London because that's a romance and I don't know. It feels like a good way to round this out because so far I have read, I don't even know if, what is Firefly Lane considered? I feel like it's considered a historical fiction, but let's, let's look. I'm going on Storygraph because Storygraph I think is really good at categorizing things a little bit. So it says fiction, contemporary, romance. That's the three taglines it's given. So we read that, and then for, we read Fiona and Jane, which is um, fiction literary short stories, and it is LGBTQIA+. And then American Psycho, let's see what is considered. Yeah, it's considered a horror, a thriller, and a classic. So that's what we have there. <laughs> so we, I feel like we've gotten a very good wide array of stories. Let's see what Build Your House Around My Body is considered. Considered a horror and magical realism. So that's very interesting. It's a little bit different. Um, yeah, anyways, I just wanted to update KU plays tonight, KU basketball. So I'm repping, very excited about that. But this is my last full week of school because next week we have a four day week and then it's finals. So we're ramping up towards the end, very excited, but yeah, that's a little update. Um, bye. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to do an update on my friend's control, what I'm reading for a week. So I finally, okay, here's the thing about this book. I have started this book and then just read the first chapter probably three times now. And last night I set a 15 minute timer because it's not that this book is bad. When I actually sat down and read it last night for 15 minutes, I only read, I think, four chapters. I'm about 7% the way done. But when I actually like read it and sat down, I was very interested and I almost wanted to keep on reading, but I was tired and I went to bed. But anyways, this is just a little update. We have this book and then one other book. And I'm considering if I can't get this book done by Saturday, I'll probably start the other book, one last night in London or something like that I can't remember exactly what it's called but I'm like this book from what I've read it sounds good I'm very intrigued there's like magical realism like there's some sort of supernatural element to it and I think that's very interesting and it seems like the characters are connected which I guess that says it sounds it says the fates of both women are inescapably linked bound together by past generations so I mean, I don't know, and apparently this won the Woman's Shortlist Award, or I can't remember, it won some sort of award, either 
early this year or last year. I can't exactly remember, so sorry about that. Just wanted to update. I'm going to try to get through this. I really, like, I don't know why it's taking me so long. I'm hoping I'm not getting in a book slump because, you know, that's never fun. But it is the 1st of December right now, which is very exciting. And yeah, sorry, I just got a book on Libby. Like, I just got a notification that I was ready, so going to borrow that but anyways yeah this is a little update I'm just like look how pretty this book is too it's gorgeous so I don't know so that's a little update we I want to have this video like done and filmed probably by next Wednesday the 7th because then I think I'm gonna post it on the 14th I guess I have until the 14th to finish this book and the other one but I would like to finish both of these books before I start any other one so that's my dilemma that I'm in but anyways that's a little update. You guys are seeing this after I've read it, but encourage me to read it. That makes no sense. Okay, hey guys, long time no talk. It has been such a long time since I last vlogged, but basically I just want to go ahead and conclude this video because I actually, actually I'm just gonna end this video here because I have not finished either of these books and I want this to be um, part of book miss. But anyways, I'm about, um, wait, where am I at? am this far into build your house around my body it's not a bad book i just can't get into it i can't read it and i haven't even started this because i'm in the, in the christmas-esque book mood so i'm not going to finish these so i'm just going to conclude this video i had a really fun time doing this because obviously these books were on my tbr i wanted to read them it was just getting the motivation and i will hopefully finish these before the end of the month thank you for my friends for participating in this video and yeah i will talk to you guys next time Peace and love. Bye, guys.